Star Wars has revealed what Yoda will look like in the High Republic. Like most things in Star Wars at this point, I assume this will be universally loved and not controversial in the least. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button and let's get into this. Here he is. I'm putting him up on screen for you right now. The new designs for Master Yoda coming in the High Republic. And right off the bat, I think it looks kind of cool, man. I especially like him in these gold robes. And I also love how many people have been mentioning that he kind of looks like Sam Jackson a little bit in the sense that he's like kind of giving somebody the side eye right here you know it's very interesting just what you can see in yoda's face it, it, it looks to be just a little different of a take on yoda than we saw in the prequels and it is worth noting and a lot of this information comes out on starwars.com um this is going to be a yoda 200 years before the one we see in the phantom menace he's going to be coming out in a comic book in 2021 for the high republic and this character is going to be with like a bunch of padawans going around in what is described in the article as sort of studying abroad for the Jedi. There's also a little bit of context about what kind of a vibe Yoda is going to be into. Now, Yoda will still be a valued member of the Jedi Council at this point, but he hasn't fully matured into this sage-like being that we get in the prequel. So it's going to be interesting to watch this journey. And I'll definitely be checking out at least the first couple issues of this comic book. And if it really captures my interest, I will continue to read it. Uh, I think it's really cool we're getting Yoda in this era. And now I just kind of want to speak to a large swath of fans that I saw uh, very negative with regards to this design. First of all, let's just talk about this. There are people out there saying this is a horrible design for Yoda. This is not a horrible design for Yoda. I'm about to put on the screen. Yeah, here it is. This is a horrible design for a Yoda. And if you don't know, this was actual uh, work done for the child. This is concept work done for the child for the Mandalorian. Thank God they didn't go with this version. Point being, this Yoda, if anything, really doesn't look that much different. I mean, if anything, that should be the complaint that you have. It's like, eh, it really doesn't look that much different. It looks like Yoda, whatever. And then there's like a whole group of people that are upset because they see this as Lucasfilm using Yoda, using an iconic character again, to slap on a lunch pail to sell it to you. Basically to say, uh, hey, Yoda's in this thing. Don't you want to check it out? And while I can understand saying like, hey, man, they probably just did this to sell thing, which by the way is been a part of Star Wars for a long, long time. Ewoks, anybody? But the thing that blows me away is like, as a Star Wars fan, when we heard about the time frame for the High Republic, we all instantly thought the same thing. We're like, yo, Yoda's got to be in this thing, right? He was around and we all became interested in knowing what Yoda was like during this time period. It just seems weird to be critical of Lucasfilm for not giving fans content that they would want, aka, why wasn't Hayden Christensen in The Rise of Skywalker? I'll never forget that shit, JJ. But it feels weird to have those complaints and then turn around and complain when one of the characters we love the most is going to show up in the High Republic. Seems weird. But if you are one of those people that is bummed about the new look of Yoda and him being in the High Republic, please let me know your thoughts. Feel free to vent in the comment section below. Now, I do want to sort of just take this opportunity to talk about the High Republic in general because this has been one of those things really interesting to me. I was surprised at how many fans were either not excited for the High Republic or sort of turned off by the concept of the High Republic. And there are all sorts of different reasons that people feel this way. I think some of them are stupid reasons but some of them are legitimate. Like, I think a lot of the EU fans that are upset that there's not more great EU writers and creators from the past coming in to create this sort of EU 2.0 with the High Republic, I could totally see how that would be upsetting to EU fans. And just in general, the new canon under Lucasfilm with uh, Disney has not been that great. Like, they haven't been that great. They've broken hyperspace travel. They've broken a lot of things that, you know, say what you will for the EU, at least played by the Star Wars rules for the most part. And I continue to believe that the real problem here is not about the announcement of the High Republic. It is actually about the lack of announcements about what the future films are going to be like or what the future of Star Wars is going to be like. I mean, think about this, guys. We've been talking a lot about the Filoni-verse, the Ahsoka show, Thrawn and Ezra, Boba show, a lot of stuff being developed for Disney+, Plus. but there's been nothing official about that. It's all technically rumor because none of it is officially confirmed. And on the other side, 
side of things, the only thing we officially know is that Taika Waititi's doing a movie. They're still doing future Star Wars movies. Mandalorian Season 2 is coming out, even though that trailer... Is, what, where's this Where's this trailer? What, what's going on with this trailer? And, you know, not to go super hard on her because some people get really upset when I do, but Kathy comes out and tells everybody that eight months into the year of 2020, she's now taking a step back to absorb George Lucas' Star Wars. That's one of the most fucking <laughs> terrifying things I've ever heard. Point being... The High Republic is announced and sort of talked about as this thing that's completely well planned. You know, they have actual ending written on the board and all these different things. And I think a very fair reaction from fans was, hey, it looks like you did a lot of planning here. Why didn't you do that for the sequel trilogy? Again, I think totally fair. And I'm just interested in what the thought process is for Star Wars. Are they making these next three films about the High Republic or not? And, and I think until we get those answers, I think there's just going to be a lack of universal support or sort of just absolute admiration for the High Republic. It, it feels like an offshoot kind of literary thing, which will be cool, but not really the big change, fix, or anticipation Star Wars fans are looking for with future films and live action projects. And so I pass the question off to you, watcher of this vid. What do you think? Do you like the look of Yoda in the High Republic? Does Yoda being in the High Republic make you want to read that comic book even more? Or are you upset about the High Republic and you think Luke film is just dangling member berries to get people to buy into this project uh whatever you're thinking in all seriousness whatever you're thinking about this star wars thing please let us know in the comment section below and now let's shout out clay fout yes indeed the bounty from the first episode of the mandalorian was trying to get home for life day and now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here i want to know what was the name of the female of yoda's species that we saw in the phantom menace what is the name of that sexy character if you like this video make sure you drop a like on it and if you are enjoying the content over here you will absolutely love the live streams we do straight from nerd ventures tower monday through friday starting at 10 a.m eastern standard time as i always say i hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video.